why we stays on your neck <laughs> my neck yo my dons make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe and obviously hit the bell for notifications so first thing shout out to my don ring iq because this is the dude i found this particular um article from it's from official behind the gloves now reading from the top essentially anthony joshua's dad has now commented and publicly stated what happened the night of june 1st the debacle with anthony joshua and it reads from the top anthony joshua's father has publicly stated that joshua suffered a panic attack in his dressing room before the fight delaying his ring walk his father asked eddie hearn to call the fight off as joshua didn't look well and his father felt something was wrong eddie hearn responded by saying he will be fine when he gets in the ring <laughs> this guy this is the reason anthony joshua's father confronted eddie hearn in the ring after the fight and words were exchanged I've seen a lot flying about regarding the confrontation between Ed Eddie and AJ's dad and the reason for this, according to Anthony's father, who has spoken to media. Well, there you go then. What more can I say? Now, assuming this article is correct, which I don't see why, behind the gloves, they seem pretty reputable. I don't see why not. But So either way, look, it's, it's out there. It's out, what more can I say? It is out there now. He had a panic attack in the ring. Now, I believe not only did he have a panic attack, I believe he had a panic attack bef before because he was also concussed. When you have concussions, and all of it, it's almost, it was almost as if AJ had come from Mars and was plucked on June 1st at MSG in front of 20,000 people. No wonder he had a damn panic, panic attack. When you have concussion, it's almost like you're high. You're almost not living in reality. That's what I've heard people say. It's almost as if you're not really... And that's it. that explains everything that happened that night. Oh, why am I feeling like this? Oh, what's he going to do the next round? This dude, this wasn't a dude who's been fighting for 10 years, Olympic champion. One of the best resumes in 22 fights in history. That wasn't a dude in the ring. Oh, what's he going to do next? Oh, why do I feel like this? Oh, what shot did he hit me with? This was like, this was like an alien from Mars was put in there in front of 20,000 people. He did not look right. And look at the way he fought. Not only, not only did he look like an alien plucked from Mars, he fought like an alien plucked from Mars. Did he completely forget his name was Anthony Joshua? Did he completely forget he's a, he, he, he busts people up? He came out like Tyson Twinkletoes Fury, backstepping, low lead hand. Despite Robert McCrappen telling him to pick his hands up, he maintained a low lead hand. Makes perfect sense to me. Panic attack combined, or no, concussion combined with a panic attack equals what happened against Andy Ruiz. Now, don't get me wrong. I've said this before. People keep saying, eh, hey, YB, <laughs> too many people. <laughs> YB is taking away from Andy Ruiz's win. Andy Ruiz won that night, no doubt about it. But the problem is, there's nothing for me to talk when there's a, When there's a story on Andy Ruiz, YB will talk about it. What do you want me to do? Sit here and make 17 videos sucking Ruiz off. There's no story in Ruiz. The story is about this. Now, I've said myself, and I'll say it again, just for you Andy Ruiz fans out there. Can Andy Ruiz do this again, regardless of his concussion? Absolutely. Is Andy Ruiz the champion? Absolutely. Will what I'm saying now change anything? Absolutely not. However, the facts are the facts. I'd say this about any... If there was any particular event going on, and there was alleged um, people being knocked out in sparring before or whatever, I'd be talking about it the same way. The facts, are the, the facts remain the same. Did his team put him in there with a concussion and or panic attack? Did Eddie Hearn tell him it will be alright once he's in the ring? Which clearly it wasn't. And I've said this before. Unfortunately for Eddie, people know I, I rate Eddie Hearn Hearn. I'm the one who, I, I call him Eddie Hearn Hearn, no problem. But... He has built a history, him and McCrappen, they have built a history of putting Anthony Joshua in the ring when he's been less than 100%. Fact. Brazil, glandular fever, Povetkin, the flu. And I'm not, Eddie, Eddie's thinking, you know what, all these fans that have flown over to the UK, we don't want to upset the fans, we don't want to lose the money, etc, etc. But unfortunately, this happens in sport. Look at the UFC, that's why I rate the UFC, you know, because UFC, they have main card pullouts all the time. Sometimes they lose like five of the top fighters on their card. That's the way it goes. Anthony Joshua 
has had 23 fights professionally and never pulled out. Sometimes you have to take the loss and keep it moving. Don't let's not forget you're already up a few hundred million dollars. If you have to lose 10 on this show, that's what you do. That's how it works. And unfortunately, the evidence doesn't bode well for Eddie Hearn or his team. I can see a situation where not only not only would they put AJ in the ring, they'd think it's a smart idea. They'd think, you know what? Well, we put him in there with glandular fever. That builds confidence. Well, he look at look at look. He knocked out Povetkin with with um with the flu. Povetkin's much much more dangerous than Ruiz. That's what they were thinking. Oh, he he um he knocked out um Brazil Brazil with glandular fever. Ruiz and Brazil are probably a similar level. That's these are the things that would have been going through your head. The more you do something, it builds confidence. The more you put someone in there when they're injured or not 100%, the more confidence it gives you. Especially when most people don't appreciate the severity of concussions. I've observed it myself. All these goons on YouTube talking about, oh yeah, well, the concussion is like any other injury. You can just fight through it. Idiots. Complete, absolute idiots. You've got these 50-year-old idiots who ain't got a clue what they're on about. They haven't got a lick of a clue what they're talking about. The brain is a complete different kettle of fish. If this was an ankle injury, there'd be no video. If this was an elbow injury, there'd be no video. If this was a shoulder injury, no video. I can put out fundamentally, and you lot can see if I'm a liar. If I ever make a video making excuses or trying to justify a loss with any other injury apart from the brain, call me out and, I'll, and, I'll, and we'll see what I'm saying. The brain is a complete different kettle of fish. Simple as that. And that performance we saw from AJ, that wasn't a mechanical, that wasn't an elbow, that was a brain. Everything from what he said in the corner, from the way he fought. He looked like, he looked, he looked like he was a complete alien. Like he'd never boxed before, almost. Simple. He got, and this is the, this is the great thing as well, the poor decision making part of it. He hit Ruiz with an uppercut and a, and a, and a what was it, an uppercut and a left hook. And then he just charges in with a low lead hand. It almost like he was completely shocked that he put him down. And when I think about AJ before, as, as if AJ had turned into Deontay Wilder all of a sudden. AJ's never been like that. When he puts someone down, he, he measures them out. And then look at the Dylan White fight as an example. Even then, he got careless and got caught. But he weren't the same, man. He literally ran in with a low lead hand. But anyway, that's here or there. Facts of the matter right now. This has been confirmed. And I can imagine, as I've just said... He will be fine when he gets in the ring. Eddie's got money signs going through his eyes. And I'm disappointed in Eddie on this one. I really am. Assuming this, assuming this is 100% true. In fact, I'm not only disappointed. This is, this is, what's the word? This is gross negligence. Absolutely. This is, should be a bordable offence. If it comes out, which I'm not sure it will, but if it ever comes out that McCrappen and Eddie Hearn put him in there with a concussion and or a panic attack, this there needs to be, there needs to be some serious things going on here. You don't do that. And I'm dis in fact, Scrap Eddie, I'm more interested with the team. Because McCrappen, promoters may be one thing. Yeah? But the team, they're the guys, like in Max Holloway's case. His team, he was clear. This is the problem. These idiots talking about, oh, well, a concussion. Google the other day. Oh, yeah, well, you guys are stupid if you think it's a concussion. The doctors would have checked that out. You don't understand shit. You can't test the concussion. There's no MRI scan that can do it. There's no definition of it. Max Holloway, who had a more severe case than Joshua, was cleared to fight. Fact. The only reason he didn't fight, he wanted to fight. He was cleared to fight. The only reason he didn't was because his team said, you know what, you're not acting right. We're pulling this off. And for me, a panic attack before you walk out is a good damn sign that this dude isn't psychologically sound. Especially when he's never had a damn panic attack before in his career. Come on. What's going on here? Simple as that. And you've got AJ now coming out. Oh, loyal, loyal, stay loyal, stay humble, stay humble. Well, <laughs> these are the people you've got around you that really care about you, allegedly. I'm not so sure about it. Now, maybe, I will say this though. Maybe these are all rumours. And if I'm wrong, I apologise to... Hearn. I apologise to McCrappen for that particular element, but still, McCrappen ain't off the, even if he never had a concussion, even if he never had a panic attack, <laughs> Eddie Hearn's off the hook, but McCrappen ain't, because if that was the best AJ with no concussion, no panic attack, wow, <laughs> wow, what have you been doing in preparation? Nothing. He didn't know what to expect from Ruiz, that should be drilled into his head, what Ruiz is going to be doing, it really wasn't rocket science, out of all the people you fought, people like Klitschko, or even Wilder, even Fury, you could say, well, we're not really sure what he's going to do. Maybe he'll mix it up. Maybe we don't really know. 
But Ruiz was straight up and down. You knew he was coming forward to throw speed and combinations. My speed, my movement, my combination. Simple. But I'll be interested to see what... In fact, we have, we've already heard from Anthony Joshua. He's made an official statement. Which I, but I'm going to cover that in another video. So look out for that.